guys, so I am here today to film an outfit of the day. I had a job interview this morning, so I thought it would be a great outfit of the day opportunity. Um, I'm going to start with my face and hair. I have a sparkle on my face for some reason. That's annoying. So for my hair, I did... I think that you should wear your hair up for an interview always because it just looks more put together. When my hair is down, I'm always playing with it and I don't want to be playing with it while I'm in an interview. So having it up is the best thing to do. I have it in this twist bun that I do. I will. I posted a tutorial for it, so I will post the tutorial in the down bar. I basically just twisted my bangs back and then put it in this braided kind of bun thing I do. I think it looks super sophisticated and like I spent an hour on my hair this morning when realistically I spent five seconds on my hair this morning. So that's always a win. And I think for makeup, you should always go super simple for an interview. I agree you should show your personality off, but I like to do it with my clothes rather than my makeup because I tend to take it overboard with makeup sometimes, and so I like to go super simple. And I already have a lip ring in my face, and I feel like people already judge me for that, so I don't want them to also be like, wow, look at this girl's got a lip ring and crazy eyeliner. She's nuts. So... I'm wearing my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation because I want something that will create a flawless canvas. Um, I just have my NYC Bronzer and Sunny on. I'm wearing Well Dressed on my cheeks because I wanted a super simple flush. Lots of mascara, no eyeshadow, no lipstick, like literally just flawless face perfection. I want it to be as simple as possible. You could do a neutral look, but I just don't like to. I like to just go no makeup for, not no makeup obviously, but like no makeup makeup, kind of just like a fresh flawless face, eyebrows filled in, foundation, concealer, looking flawless, but not too cray. On my nails, I'm wearing Essie's Tarte Deco. Um, normally I'd go a little more, I guess, conservative with my nail polish for an interview, but I didn't think Tarte Deco was too crazy, and I was didn't have time to paint my nails, so it worked. Um, so I guess I'll show you my outfit, because that's kind of the key part of the video. So this is my outfit. Um, this necklace I stole from my mom, so I'm not really sure what it is. It just ties in the back, and it has two large gems here and then a bunch of, like, chains. Um, this shirt is a polka dot shirt I got from Joe Fresh. It has these kind of, like, poofy, crazy sleeves, which I really like. And then I'm wearing this mustard cardigan because I felt like the outfit was just too plain by itself. It's super hot out, so I wanted to wear something over top of it, but I wanted to add a pop of color. So this is my pop of color for the day, this mustard cardigan. I have a red blazer. I wear this sometimes, but I thought that would be way too hot. And then I'm wearing this pencil skirt from H&M. I don't remember how much it was, so I got it forever ago, but it just zips up the back and it's a pencil skirt. It comes just above my knees. And then for my shoes, I am wearing these Ralph Lauren little low stilettos. They're just super simple. I still have the tags on the inside because I'm classy like that. And I just wanted something, I wanted like a little conservative heel that's not too crazy, but I wanted to wear a heel because it looks more professional. So that's my outfit of the day. Um, I think for an interview, I like a pop of color. I like something that's gonna look creative, polka dots with the color, simple makeup, but a cute hairdo, something that's gonna show off your personality but not make you look crazy, basically. So I hope you guys liked this outfit of the day and I will talk to you guys later, bye.